If you've ever encountered an error when installing a WordPress child theme, the most likely cause is a mismatched file name. This problem can be fixed quite easily. Here's how to do it. I'm under the Appearance tab in the Themes section. At the bottom of the page, you can see the error that was generated. This says that the theme is broken and that the theme is installed and incomplete. It must have a style sheet and a template attached to the child theme. This error is usually caused by a spelling error or capitalization of a letter that's creating a mismatch between the expected parent theme and the parent theme file folder name. Let me show you what I mean. When you installed your child theme in your cPanel, you created a folder for the child theme. Let's take a look at this folder for a minute. From your cPanel, navigate to the file folder manager. The child theme is located in the themes folder located within the WP content folder. None of these folder names should contain capital letters or spaces. Note the spelling of the child theme folder and also the spelling of the parent theme folder. In this case, the child theme is 2014-child and the parent theme is 2014, both with no capital letters. Now let's take a look at the child theme code. If we go to the editor, located under the Appearance tab, we can look at and edit the code for the installed child theme that's broken. After clicking on the editor, I need to pick the theme that I want to look at. In this case, it's the 2014-child theme. Once I select the theme, it'll show up in the editor window. You can see that the error for the child theme is showing at the top of the page here as well. It's telling me that the parent theme is not installed. However, I know that the parent theme is installed, so this makes me think that the system is just not recognizing the parent theme is there. When dealing with any type of code, spelling is critical. Spelling errors in code will completely stop things from functioning properly, so let's take a look and find the error. Let's not forget the folder names of the parent and child theme as we take a look. Here, the child theme name matches the child theme folder name from the cPanel. Here, the parent theme name does not match the parent theme folder name. The parent theme folder name does not have any capital letters, so this is the problem. Also, we need to look at the import URL name and make sure that it matches the parent theme file name. In this case, it does match, so let's correct the capitalized letters to lowercase. And now, let's refresh the page. The error that was at the top of the page is now gone, and this should solve the problem. Let's go back over to the themes page and see if our child theme is showing up as it should. Now, we can see the child theme and the broken error message is gone. So to recap, to solve the problem of the broken child theme, simply make sure that all of your file names match. The child theme folder and the parent theme folder should be all lowercase with no spaces. In the child theme code, you need to check these three places to ensure proper spelling and no capitalization. Check the theme name, the template name, and the import URL name. The theme name should match the name of your child theme folder exactly. The template name should match the name of your parent theme folder exactly. And the import URL should match the parent theme folder name exactly. So that's it for fixing the broken child theme error. Thanks for watching. To find more success building videos, tips, and tutorials, visit jeffreyjack.com.